There is a way to do inline styles. Uh, just in the case you want to just style one thing really quickly, you don't need to create this full style sheet uh, across everything here. So let's go ahead and update this. Uh, let's maybe change the, the color of this P tag and we're gonna set it to be um, uh, maybe like a larger font and also change the color. So I'm gonna remove that from here. And uh, what we would do is we'd say, okay, we want you to have this class. Use curly brackets inside of the tags here. Uh, now we can just run that CSS macro directly. We don't need the R sharp because we are, um, we're not running multi-line CSS here. It's just gonna be a single, uh, well, just a single, you know, a single line. So we're gonna say maybe color is red. And we can also have maybe like a font size of, uh, let's just say 75 pixels. So I hit save, uh, come over here, and then I now see a 75 pixel P tag with red text. And uh, behind the scenes, exactly the same thing is happening. Uh, the actual style sheet is being created and put into the head. And then this P tag only has the class. Like it doesn't actually have a style directly applied to it as if we did um, it in like, like vanilla HTML. So it is, it is a good practice when it's deployed. Um, that being said, I rarely use this method of styling components. I almost always use a style sheet that's bound for the entire uh, component at a time. Anyways, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.